they made a movie about my life, it would start here. I was born in Wollongong Hospital. I've always lived here. You know, Wollongong, this whole uh, region's uh, pretty big, and I've always been a part of the Illawarra. Being from this sort of area, you know, a lot of uh, people say we're all rough and tough type of guys. You know, hard working community, whether it's just everyone's been playing football their whole life, working in the steelworks, that's all they know. All they know is hard work. It made me tough, it made me who I am, and it made me the fighter I am. I'm that hard working guy that never gives up, always adapts to whatever's in front of me. No matter how hard it is, I'm gonna take it on. And I got pretty much where I live to thank for that. Rugby league is just massive here in this region. That blue collar sort of mentality, that you know, the hard working type of mentality, I think that's bred in these type of towns. And rugby league's always uh, big in them, them areas. I played for Rilla Gorillas. It was just where all my mates played. It was where most of the people lived in that Rilla sort of region, and that's where all my schoolmates were. I wore the blue and yellow with pride, you know, that was my spot, and that's, that's who I played for. I played a prop, so that was the front row, and that was my position. Pass me the ball and just run straight at him. Four. Me being reasonably short, you know, I played a position where people were twice the size of me. And I uh, used to be 214 pounds, because that position I played, uh, they're absolute monsters who I'm up against. It's obviously a very physical sport, and, you know, I always held my own. He always played above his weight. Your front rowers, they're supposed to be your big giant, ogres, cranky, intimidating guys. We had one of them, and his partner was Alex. We used to take the field, and, and you could almost hear the crowd laughing, like, is this your front rower? Where's the rest of him? Probably about 20, 25 minutes into the game, both their front rowers were done there. It sounded like choo-choo trains huffing and puffing, and, and Alex was just in the middle there, just going, just taking hit up after hit up, tackling, giving you the same energy that he hadn't changed. Come on, release! This is what he was like, you know, he, he gets underestimated everywhere he goes. And now the man of the match in the grand final for 2011. From the Warilla Lake South Gorillas, their prop forward number 10, Alex Volkanovsky. My whole like rugby league career, I played with most of the same people. So you build really good relationships. Just the camaraderie, everything about it. The, the stories are endless. I've always loved martial arts. Martial arts has always been a big part of growing up. You know, my, my whole family's always loved it, I love boxing. So it was something that was always on my mind. And it was something that I, I guess I always wanted to do. I thought, you know what, I need to keep fit. I may as well, may as well train. I may as well go to the gym around the corner, a freestyle fighting gym. He was just finishing up his football season and then he wanted something else to do while he was training in his off season. And I said, come to the gym and give it a crack and see how you like it. And then he came in and from the get-go, he was a monster. You could tell the guy had some natural ability. And he would always spar the biggest dudes, the hardest dudes, and he'd walk right through them. We had an open sparring day here, and I had a guy that had a couple of fights, a heavyweight. Alex hadn't had a spar yet. And the guy's trainer threw Alex into the cage. And the next minute, Alex has submitted this guy. I'm going, wow. Then he submitted him again. And then he went out and then they did a few more rounds. And after the sparring was done, I just pulled Alex aside and I said, would you be keen to have a fight? And he went, oh yeah, that's been my goal. I want to have a fight. That was my last year of football. We won the grand final. And I said, like halfway through the year, I go, I think I'm going to take on MMA uh, full on and I'm going to give football away. A lot of my 40 mates thought I was mad because I used to do okay at rugby league. but. I just seen, uh, again, it was a passion of mine that I always had there and I felt like it was something I had to fulfil. And it was something that I believe I could have went all the way with. You know, even though it was early days, I still believed in myself that I could make the UFC, I could be a UFC champion one day. So I was like, you know, I'm going to take it on. A month later, I had my first fight and the rest is history. Alex, 
first fight was a middleweight, so 85 kilograms. So I lost weight to make 85 kilograms. So I used to play rugby league at 97 kilograms. But these guys were six, three. <laughs> you know what I mean? These guys were monsters. But it was good. <laughs> it looked good, the David and Goliath uh, type story. You know what I mean? I had plenty of those moments. When I say break, and I mean break. And I, don't be a hero. I don't see no one getting first time you saw Alex fight, you knew that he was just going to be the next big thing. You knew he was going to be a champion. You, you could just see it. The guy was fighting. He looked like a bad dude, and Alex just took him to the ground and was over in seconds. All four of my amateur fights didn't even add up to one round. Pretty much straight away, I, I was having fights that, you know, not many people would have tough fights. In division, I shouldn't have even been. I'm competitive, man, I'm competitive. So my goal was always to get to the top and get there quick. I started late. The whole way through my career, I've had goals. Amateur, I'm just going to get these wins out of the way. I want to go pro. Once I was pro, I want to be the best in Australia. Quickly got there, and then I'm like, I'm going to be in the UFC. Once I was in the UFC, I'm like, I'm going to shoot for these ranks as quick as I can. So everything was just go for it. The former rugby league standout, he left that career to pursue this dream. Fighting at a win day, Australia, Alexander Volkanov! Powerful. A wipeout from top to bottom. This might be it. Alexander the Great. Big right hand. Alkins is down. Volkanovski. He remains undeterred in his quest to climb the rankings. Well, you got to think at this point, the rest of the featherweight division is paying attention. Oh, he dropped him. Mendez goes down. Alexander wow. the Great has arrived. Volkanovski getting to the pressure now. This is what Volkanovski does. He's just constantly working. He doesn't let you rest. Volkanovski now 7-0 in the UFC. He could be the guy to beat the greatest featherweight of all time. Volkanovski's throwing big, heavy hands. Oh, oh he stunned him with that left hand. 32 leg kicks and counting for Alexander Volkanovski. Oh, oh big elbow. And new undisputed. Of the I'm telling you, I'm going to stay champion for a long time. Australia, look at this, I'm bringing it back home, baby. Me being in Okagong is so much bigger than me being in the Okagong, winning a belt for myself. I win it for my family, I win it for my teammates, friends, then I win it for my community. Australia, the list goes on. I do it for them. My upbringing, my background, my heritage, my rugby league days, all these experiences has made me who I am.